avoiding or minimizing inflammation in the body is a relatively straightforward thing to do. You need to reduce your exposure to factors that uh, increase inflammation, such as smoking or exposure to diesel and industrial particulates if you live in a city. You should take moderate amounts of exercise. We know that this has an important anti-inflammatory effect. You should consume an anti-inflammatory diet, typically one with lots of fruits, vegetables, and oily fish, complex carbohydrates, and that's, um, I think, pretty widely agreed by now. But it's probably not enough if you're only living at between 200 and 2,500 calories a day. Then, in that case, what you need to do is to add an anti-inflammatory supplement, which should ideally combine uh, the omega-3 highly unsaturated fatty acids, EPA and DHA, and the appropriate polyphenols, which are what you need to make sure that those omega-3s get to the right tissues. And then when the polyphenols have chaperoned them to those tissues, they confer very important and additional anti-inflammatory benefits. Further anti-inflammatory cover can be provided by using uh, nutrients that have been shown to improve the functioning of the innate immune system, uh, thereby reducing the risk of infections lingering on because a chronic infection is also a source of chronic inflammation. Take all of these steps and uh, the, uh, any whatever chronic inflammation occurring anywhere in the body this should be fairly easily brought under control.